International Journal of Health Policy and Management. Quality and speed are our culture and the keys to our success. Welcome to the audio summary section of the International Journal of Health Policy and Management. I am Vijay Pillai from the School of Social Work at the University of Texas, Arlington, and my co-author is Dr. Yachin Wong from the Department of Medical Sociology and Social Work, Chungshan Medical University, Taiwan. Our paper is titled Women's Education and Well Peace, A Feminist Dream Comes True. Comment on The Pill is Mightier Than the Sword by Professors Potts, Mahmoud, and Graves. Humans have engaged in, in warfare throughout the course of human history. The question is, what made them stop for peace occasionally? Can we prolong the peace spells longer than the spells of conflict? This is the central question that engages Professor Spots, Memo, and Graves. They point out that men engage in war and women seldom do. However, women contribute to the perpetuation of war by making a large number of men available for warfare especially when women have fewer opportunities other than childbearing and child rearing. This excessive supply of young men and women is referred to as the youth bulge. This phenomenon is particularly problematic when a large number of unemployed men become available for warfare. When women enjoy plentiful socioeconomic choices, they are more likely to engage in socio-economic activities other than childbearing, reducing fertility levels leading to a youth bulge shrinkage. But how do we empower women? The simplest route is women's education. Education increases women's socio-economic choices and reduces fertility. When fertility is reduced, they suggest that a reduction in aggression to which males are biologically disposed to is necessary to give peace a chance. In our commentary, we highlight three conditions which may moderate the effect of males' biological propensity for violence and participation in war and related activities. First, we contend that several cultures have successfully utilized social controls to regulate male aggression raising our hopes for a peaceful world. Second, it is necessary to improve employment opportunities in general to reduce the likelihood of young men and women enlisting in the military just for making a living. Finally, it is necessary to address cultural issues which increase the ratio of males to females as is the case today in many societies just as, such as India and China. An increase in the proportion of men alongside with a decrease in the proportion of women in the marriage market is positively associated with spikes in crime and violent crimes. In sum, in our efforts to give peace a chance, we should not overlook the positive roles played by work and family in our day-to-day -day lives. Improving women's education is extremely important. Women's empowerment will most likely lead to preservation of life and also challenge the traditional image of men as barriers.